Welcome, this is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition and I'm honored to be here today with my mentor and dear friend Ben Fuchs. Thank you Melissa, nice You're, to see you too. Yeah, it's great to see you. And we decided to spontaneously pick a topic and uh, I was going to make it a mystery topic for Ben just to see how he would handle it, but he was like, no! But I, I know he'll get, he'll get up to speed. So if you guys have any mystery topics for Ben, Post them below on my feed and I'll be happy to uh, surprise them next time we're right. together. So the topic I chose was oxytocin. Mm -hmm. So Ben, I'd love for you to share with us everything you know everything about, about oxytocin. Yes. Oxytocin yes. is the chemical. Well, it's interesting because uh, a lot of things that we just love to do, we love to do because our brain tells us to do it because it's in our evolutionary interest and in our physiologic and biologic interest to do them. We get healthier when we do them. So we all love to commune with people. We all love our friends. We all love family. We all love connecting. We all love physical touch. We all love uh, being uh, bonding. And one of the reasons that we love being bonding is because we get neurochemically rewarded for bonding. Mm -hmm. When we bond, our pleasure chemistry, our brain's pleasure chemistry gets upregulated. One of those pleasure chemicals is something called oxytocin. Oxytocin is found in breast milk, for example, so when a mom breastfeeds the baby, the baby's getting a big, shit, a big shot of this oxytocin so that there, a, a bonding, a, a bonding um, a process occurs between mother and baby. Um, during orgasm, you get a big surge of oxytocin again, so you get a bonding experience. Right. Even, just, even just looking into each other's eyes, your oxytocin levels go up, right? You, yeah. can, actually, you, actually, you can actually feel it yes. as you're looking into we're looking into each other's eyes as we're looking here and this is one of the neat things about social media is we can actually raise our oxytocin levels with thousands and thousands of people or at least nine people today <laughs> <laughs> you know we can still raise our oxytocin levels through social media through through the internet through right and, and there's an interconnectivity that's taking place through technology which can be you know for better or worse for better because it upregulates oxytocin when your oxytocin levels go up your immune system is supported you think more clearly more blood is uh, directed to the front of your brain, away from the back of your brain. There's some tremendous health benefits. Uh, uh, if you're dealing with a chronic health challenge, boosting your oxytocin levels is a great way to address that. If you want to improve your longevity, boosting your oxytocin levels is a great way to do that. If you want to improve the, uh, the uh, psychological well-being of your family or your group or even at work, boosting oxytocin levels How would you is do a great it at way work? to do that. For, what would you do Talking at work? Talking kindly to people, touching. Uh, you know, not doesn't have to be anything you know serious, but just even touching on the palm will right. raise your or touching right. on the top of hey, your hand. Hey Ben, have you ever reached reached to touch someone and they actually jerked? You know what I mean? Like you, you reach, you know, it's so sad, right? Like people are just that's you a know? wound. There's a yes. wound there that yes. doesn't want to be that doesn't want to be hurt. Do you, right. ever, you know, when you cut yourself and you have a band aid on it. Mm -hmm. You don't want people touching that. Right. And there's psychic wounds that yeah. people have. There's yeah. psychological it's wounds. It's so powerful. And you know, we talk about nutrition all the time. Mm -hmm. There's this really neat uh, study that came out of, I don't know, about 10 years ago called the Ad Adverse Childhood Experiences Study, the ACEs Study. A C E. Have you heard of this? Uh, no. The Say it again. Adverse Childhood Experiences Study. And this was a study where they linked disease states in later life to adverse childhood experiences that occurred early in life. And this is one of the things that occurs to us. We get wounded at a young age, and if those wounds Aren't, in, aren't, uh, aren't resolved, as we get older, we still suffer subconsciously, uh, but that still affects our biochemistry from the effects of these, these psychic wounds that occurred, sometimes even before we were even aware of them. You know, our subconscious, right, right. a lot of what's in our subconscious and the power of the subconscious mind way transcends the power of the conscious right, mind. 90% right. of what you do is based subconsciously out of your awareness. And a lot of these childhood traumas are, are not in our conscious minds, but they're subconscious. We're not even aware of them, which is why it's so important to, for parents to really be pay a lot of attention to how they look at their kids, how they talk to their kids, the sounds they make, the tone of their voice. I mean, all of these things have an effect on children that at a level that they, they're not going to be aware of, but they'll still have an effect in this case. Right, the vibration. Kids know what you're thinking. And if you think as a parent, they don't. You're, right, and you're as you're deluding and, yourself. And you could be 50 years old and still being impacted negatively from something that occurred to you right. when you were a year right. old. Or, or, you know, or, or a baby, uh, up until about four or five years old, babies are still in this alpha state, a, sub, uh, yes. a very, a very uh, receptive brainwave state, a hypnotic state really. The alpha yes. brainwave state is a hypnotic state that hyp hypnotists try to achieve to get you to bark like a chicken. 
or bark like a dog or crack or, uh, or, or uh, quack like a duck. Right. So right. when you're in the alpha state, you're so receptive, you'll do all of the, these bizarre things. Children are purely in the alpha state until they're about the age of three or four. So they are totally receptive. They believe everything you're telling them. Right. And, and if they get the idea that they're wrong or they're bad or, or there's something negative, that's going to be in that child's uh, child's psyche that subconsciously for the rest of that child's got life. It, got and it. And it can manifest as things like cancer and heart disease. Right. And, right. Or jerking when you try to pat him on the back at work. Or, I've seen exactly. that before. You're just trying to, yeah. But let's just give the people listening and watching just a few, just do your three shortest nutritional tips, if you have them. Three tips on boosting oxytocin naturally. Uh, exercise, touch, and love. Great. Excellent. Thanks, Ben. Non-nutritional. Non-nutritional. Yes. Try, try Don't to Don't underestimate the power of love. No, never. That's never. the attractive force, love. Right. It is. It's the force that holds the entire That's show right. together. So, nutritionally. Three, nutritionally, maybe? Uh, B-complex, essential fatty acids, and vitamin C. Vitamin C. Oh, yay. Excellent. All right, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.